Pantanal is the world's largest tropical wetland and home to some of the rarest species. And over 4,000 of third biggest cat in the world, Jaguar, lives here. And it's the only place where you get a chance to see them up close in their habitat. Hence, I decided to partner with Chris Brunskill, a renowned photographer who has been photographing these cats since 12 years in this region, to make a documentary on jaguars. Shooting a documentary in the wild and that too being on a boat on Kuyaba River for 12 hours each day is not easy at all. So I needed a camera that is going to support me through many challenges that I was going to face. Hence, I decided to take Canon EOS R5C for the shoot. I bought my first Canon camera, EOS 500, 1996, I was 18. Here I am with the R5C, which is a big evolution in photography. Well, Jaguars are gorgeous. There is a spot of a difference between them and the leopards. They have rosettes with spots in the center. And we saw over 22 Jaguars in a span of three weeks. Some of the mating pairs, mothers with cubs. We saw lots of birds, caimans, anaconda, beautiful sunrises and sunsets. And all this I recorded in 4K and 8K with RF lenses. Jaguars have the most powerful bite amongst big cats. And we were lucky enough to see a hunt that lasted 90 minutes. This has been one of the most beautiful experiences for me in wildlife. I've been here five times and nothing can compare to what we saw. We followed Marcella, this beautiful three-year-old female jaguar. Sharp at 5.30 a.m., she had killed a caiman. And the unique problem-solving behavior of the cat, trying to drag it up, was so interesting to document. But while all this was happening, most important was what the camera was doing. I recorded all of the action in slow motion and by using the customizable buttons, it was so easy for me to switch between 4K 120p and 8K 60p. And the output is stunning. Recording in 8K also gave me enough opportunities to get lots of archival footage for future use. I shot the hunt on the R5C, which is a phenomenal camera. And one of the biggest qualities is the file size, you know, 45 megapixel sensor. The file size is incredible. So you can shoot loose and crop into the pictures and still retain the quality. It's very important for wildlife photographers. Jaguars give us so much action. This is a place where you can expect the unexpected. You have to always be ready. It's extremely hot, 42 degrees. Surviving on this. This one hasn't given up on me. It performed brilliantly on two fronts. One is autofocus, which is super fast and reliable. It was one of the things less for me to worry about. I would shift between eye focus and whole area focus without any issue. It's a very difficult situation when the Jaguar is in the grass or with vines behind it or there's branches in its face. So they were two special pictures that I've taken. Another one was a, a male Jaguar called Quang. One day he was drinking the water, I was taking a portrait of him drinking and he just started snarling for no reason. Um, and the R5C again was perfect with the eye detection. I have been shooting on 4K and 8K continuously in this heat, of course with my power bank connected to the camera. And so far it's been performing really well. And there was a seamless integration between the camera and the power bank. I was able to shoot in any recording mode for hours on end. Of course, being in a boat, space is limited. The form factor of this camera was ideal. It's very rugged. The image stabilization was a big win, which helped as most times the boat is very shaky. So for the size of this camera, the potential it showed, I was bowled over. 